Good afternoon. So I'm back in Couperin today and I thought I'd uh, take you for another little visit of your favorite high school. So today we're going to talk about irregular comparatives and superlatives. So the first one is far. So when I'm standing here at the entrance to Couperin, the teacher's lounge is far away. Okay, the canteen is further away than the teacher's lounge and the furthest from where I'm standing is the library. Okay, so it's far, further, furthest. No E-R, F-U-R-T-H-E-S-T. And in some countries, I think in England, they say far, farther, farthest. But really in general, everyday English, we use far, further, furthest a whole lot more often. Right, so while we're walking, I'm gonna to talk to you about some other uh, irregular adjectives in the comparative and superlative form. So one of them is few and less. So the difference between these two is that we use few when we're talking about countable nouns. So you know things that you can add an s to to make plural. So I have an example for you. We would say in my house I eat fewer cookies than my husband. Okay he loves cookies and cakes and anything sweet. So less we use when we're talking about an uncountable noun. You know, something that you cannot add an S to, like pasta or rice or wine. So the other example would be, but also in my house, my husband drinks less wine than I do. Okay, so remember that. And if ever you're in a shop in England and there's those tills that are, you know, reserved for people who have not got a lot of shopping, there's often a mistake because it often says, 10 items or less and in fact items is countable so it should be 10 items or fewer right so another one so you know we often think about marks marks are very important for you french students so if for example you get four out of 20 that's bad if you get two out of 20 that's worse and if you get zero out of 20 well, that is the worst mark you could possibly get. Right, so here I am with some bushes. Okay, these are bushes, buisson. So over here, they're all little bushes, but this is another irregular one for you. So this here is a little bush. But if you look carefully, right, this one is littler than this one. But this little one over here, it's so cute. This one is the littlest bush. It's so tiny. Can you see the little bush? Okay, so I'm walking across the courtyard again, giving you a nice view of your school. So in my house, right, when we're talking about how old people are as well, I would say that in my family, my husband is the oldest, right? And on the other hand, my cat is older than my dog, right? But remember when we're talking about people who are, you know, of a certain age, not like us, like your grandparents, not like me, of course, then we talk about elderly people, all right? Elderly people. So here we go across the grass. So here we have the canteen. Now, of course, at the canteen, the food is good. My food, my cooking is, of course, better than the food at the canteen, but I'm sure your mum's cooking is the best of all three of those. Don't you agree? I'm sure it is. Right, and the same rule applies for well, okay? So he wasn't feeling very well yesterday, but today he's feeling better, okay? Um, and I feel best when I'm in Couperin with my students, not here, you know, with not a soul around me. So as a teacher, I have many students. Um, I had a lot more students in my online classes before the Conseil de class. Sad but true, sad but true. And I could also say, for the superlative, my videos which show Couperin get the most views. So much or many, more and the most. 
there you go so a nice little tour of Coupin uh, yeah you know I love my job and I, I love Coupin but I love it even more when there's students around and I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow